this book, the 50 stanza on the spiritual teacher. We will start from, well, sorry, we'll continue from page 24. If you are poor, like Jetson Milarepa, it does not matter that you do not have riches to offer. What is important is your state of mind and willingness to sacrifice anything for the sake of your spiritual teacher, enlightenment and all sentient beings. The best offering then is of your practice, but if you have wealth, you must never hesitate to use it for building up positive potential. So it is quite clear that um, um, well, from the story of Jetson Milarepa, he was actually born quite wealthy and but the fa when the father passed away his relatives um, took over the properties and left um, Milarepa and his family very poor and his mother was um, very upset about it and had encouraged Milarepa to learn the black arts and when he has succeeded in that he came back and to take revenge and in the process, he actually destroyed the village and a lot of people died. And from that, he was very regretful. And as, and the other, I mean, the villagers were very angry with him and they were um, going to attack him and probably to also take his life. And he escaped and went in search of a guru and found um, his guru Mapa and the, the, his guru actually put him through a lot of um, difficult trials and tribulations and in the end he overcame it when he let go of his ego and as you can see because he as I mean he left in a you know to escape the villages so he has nothing to offer his guru and it says here that you know it is your state of mind and willingness to sacrifice everything you know for the sake of your guru the enlightenment and sentient beings so it is not necessary that you have riches to offer but at the same time if you do have the wealth then you should also you know practice the generosity to use it to help others, you know, and in as such, you know, to be able to build up the merits, to be able to, you know, um, progress in your spiritual path. And the next paragraph, therefore, making offerings is not so that your teacher can become rich. On his part, the spiritual master should regard such offerings as a tiger look would look at grass. The point is to benefit yourself and ultimately everyone else by your total dedication. Great positive potential is built up from such practice, resulting in your attainment of the form body of a Buddha. If you can see the void nature that is the lack of true independent existence of yourself, your teacher and what you offer, then you accumulate at the same time the insight and depth awareness, sorry, or deep awareness that will result in your achievement of a Buddha wisdom body. Thus, the supreme actual attainment of Buddhahood comes from making offerings to your spiritual teacher. Here, as you can see, well, it's explaining that the teacher is not actually looking at your riches. On his part, you know, it says that as um, a tiger would look at grass, Actually, I didn't quite get it until, you know, I asked one of my um, Dharma sister and she, it, it's quite simple because the tiger is uh, carnivorous, so it will only be interested in meat and therefore, you know, when it looks at grass, it will be very disinterest, uh, interest, uh, disinterested, which will be just like a spiritual teacher, you know, who is not interested in any riches, but basically um, it is... Um, to help benefit us so that we when we make offerings you know then we will gain the merits so and it says that um, right 
Mm. Yes, there it says, does the supreme actual attainment of Buddhahood comes from making offerings to your spiritual teacher? So it is, you know, very important that you practice generosity, that um, you make offerings to your, your guru or your teacher. You know, if you do not have the wealth, then, you know, it. it's, um, well, basically, it's actually your state of mind and your willingness. So your transformation of mind is very important. It is what you can, the highest um, offering that you can make, um, get, that you can make offering to your teacher. Right, stanza number 22. Therefore, a disciple with the good qualities of compassion, generosity, moral self-control and patience should never regard as different his spiritual teacher and the Buddha Vajadhara. Your spiritual teacher, the meditational deities, and Vrajadhara, the form Buddha assumes in the tantras, are all the same in nature. They are like a single person in a drama changing masks and costumes and playing different roles. The same is true if you have many teachers. You must regard them all as Buddha, deferring only in the face he wears. Well, it is quite clear that um, we should always refer to our spiritual teacher, our guru, as the Buddha Vrajadhara. Because um, he, our guru is the one who is compassionately giving us the teachings, giving us the guidance, you know, and um, giving us the practices to, to help us gain enlightenment. And he is actually here in the form of Buddha, and it was, as such, we should see him as a Buddha. Even though, you know, if, um, and it says that if you have um, many teachers, they are all the same. They should be regarded as the Buddha. The ability to see your spiritual teacher as not different from Buddha Vrajadhara depends on your motivation. If you have developed an enlightened motivation, uh, sorry, motive of bodhicitta, you are striving to become a Buddha yourself in order to, fully, to be fully able to benefit others. The stronger this motive, the more the thought of enlightenment comes to pervade your mind completely. Thinking only of enlightenment and ways to achieve it, you will automatically be able to see your spiritual teacher in terms of this state because nothing else will be in your mind. The more you wish to attain enlightenment, the clearer you see the necessity for your teacher to be a Buddha. Thus, with the strong compassion of wishing others never to suffer, you can commit yourself easily and with joy. Through the practice of the perfections of generosity, the disciple of moral self-control, patience, and so forth, centered around your spiritual teacher, you will then be able to attain this state. So as you can see, as I mentioned before, that um, our teacher is actually, a, how we view a teacher, or spiritual teacher, and or guru, is actually a reflection a, a clear reflection of um, the state of our minds if we are able to see our teacher as the Buddha it means that um, our mind is um, thinking you know of uh, enlightenment and how we wish to achieve it and we we are, can we are reflecting the qualities you know of um, our potential as a, a Buddha so as it says that, you know, you, the more you think of enlightenment and the ways to achieve it, then you automatically see your spiritual teacher in this state, you know, because your mind will be always thinking of it. And then uh, all the more that you view all the, the good qualities in your, your guru, and then you realize, you know, um, how, how this... Um, That is, it's very important that um, I see, um, okay. Because you you see all these um, qualities in your guru as the Buddha. 
all the, the compassion, you know, the moral self-control, the patience, so that it's a, it will be um, a true reflection of your the body. The, I mean, sorry, the um, true reflection of the Buddha that is within you. Yeah, this part, you know, we that we have to really strive to work on it, you know, that to always view our gurus as the Buddha. Okay, so um, let us reflect on that and. I will end the sharing session, you know, with that reflection for today. And thank you for sharing my, your time with me. And I will end it with a completion dedication in Tibetan. Yang Yup Senjo Rinpo Shi Ma Ke Pa Nam Ge Shi Ke Pa Nam Pa Me Pa Yang Go Ni Go Ndu Pe Ho Shu Tu Ni Tu Wa Rinpo Shi Ma Ke Pa Nam Ge Shi Ke Pa Nam Pa Me Pa Yang Go Ni Go Ndu Pe Ho Shu Da So Ji Ni Sa Pa Ge Wa Di Tan Tan Tro Wa Gu Na Gam Pa Da Je Pa Je Su Lo San Tra Pa Yi Tan Ping Yin Po Rin Du Sa Se Shu Ke Wa Kun Du Yen Da La Ma Da An Tra Mi Chu Ki Pa La No Chu Ji Sa Dam La Ngi Yot Ne Ra Zo Ni Tu Ji Chang Ngi Wa Pa Ngo Tu Su Ke Wa Di Yu Du Da La Ma San Yu Du Yu Ni Tru Wa Chi Kya Ma Lu Pa Ni Yi Sa La Go Pa Shu Cho Ki Kya Pu Sung Ka Pa Cho Su Na Pa Pe Wa La Ya Ki Sa Ma Si Wa Da Ang Tung Ki Ma Lu Sa Wa Shu Da Da Pa Sung Ngi Du Sun Da Tre Wa Sung Yi La Te Ni Ge Wa La San Tra Pa Yi Tam Pa Yo Re Pa Gyu Shi Ni Mo De La Sin De La Ni Me Gu Nyan De La Shi Ni Sin Ta Tu De La Pa Al Kun Cho Sung Yi Jin Gi Lo Kun Cho Sung Yi Ngo Tru Su Kun Cho Sung Yi Tra Ha Si Shu Je Su Na Ma Ku Sin Rap Ting Ching Nam ka tri ni cho cho ke pa dang Lo sam ten pe tro mi sap sung ni Tro e mun sa ta tu ni gyu shi Gang wai rao e ko wai shin kam de Pen tan de wa ma lu gyu ni Sha ren zi wan ten sing kya so yi Sha pe shi de pa ru de gyu shi Hum tong pe ngot ru ma lu pa Den den da la sao du so Kho dang den pa long chok na Ke pa su shi shuk ten sao Thank you again And I will be sharing in A couple of days more